Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to come on here and say hello, and also to talk about a couple of things today. Um, I have a topic for you, and uh, let's get right into it. It is Hoopla and the Clubnet system. Now, Hoopla is a site where, through your local library, you can watch free movies, you can read ebooks, and you can borrow music. It's a very neat site. Um, all you need is a library card and your PIN number, uh, which with me is the last four of my phone number. <laughs> you guys can't use it, obviously, because you don't know my library card number, so there you go. Anyways, it's a very neat site. Depending on what library system that I use, um, with Clefnet I get ten free borrows a month. Ten free movies, books, um, music, whatever I want to borrow, ten free a month. And with Ashtabula District Library and Geneva Public Library, I get 15 a month. I don't know why there's a difference, but there is. Uh, so I've signed up through both, so I have 25 free borrows a month through both. So yes, I'm really enjoying that. I've actually never gone over my limit. And uh, well, 25 is quite a bit. <laughs> 25 movies, books, music, whatever you decide to, to do on the site, it's quite a bit, so going over your limit would probably be very difficult. Um, if you sign up through both, that is. Well, me, I can sign up through both. You probably only have one library system in your area that you can sign up through. If you can sign up through it at all, if you, you know, if your library even has Hoopla, I'm not saying they do. You can always check, but I know a lot of libraries around here as long as you have a library card and a PIN and an email, you must have an email address too to sign up because that's your username they use to uh, log on to their site, on the Hoopla site. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's that one. Next one I wanted to kind of talk about is only for Clevnet users, eMedia. Uh, it's only for us here, Ashtabula, Lake County, Jaga County. Cuyahoga County, maybe Trumbull County, um, all counties here in um, maybe Northeast Ohio, maybe Southern Ohio counties too have access to it. I'm not quite sure, but it's uh, it's the Clevnet library system. Uh, a lot of e-media, uh, a lot of e-books, um, music. Um, I don't know if they have movies. I don't think there's any movies on there. I think you have to do go through Hoopla for movies. Um, but I know they have a lot of ebooks to borrow, and uh, you get. I know on Clevnet you get to choose the. I think you get to choose the amount of days that you want to borrow. I know seven days, fourteen days, and I think maybe twenty-one days might be the limit for borrowing. But um, anyways, twenty-one days is quite a few days. That's almost a regular uh, borrowing session through just a, when you go in and pick up a, you know, paper book. You know, instead of in like an electronic book, um, I've read quite a few ebooks, um, and uh, I I like it. I mean, Eric says that he'd rather just have a paper book in his hand because he doesn't have to worry about it going dead right in the middle of his uh, <laughs> right in the middle of reading it if he's out somewhere. Well, he's got a point there. <laughs> you got to make sure it's charged enough if you're going to take it out somewhere so that it doesn't go dead on you while you're reading. Um, but so, yeah, I always just make sure I got enough of a charge. And um, sometimes I end up places where they have plugs. So if I am low, for some reason, I just take my charger and plug it in wherever I'm at. So that works, too. Um, but a lot of places don't have access to plugs for some reason. So, um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's the two subjects I wanted to talk about today, the topic basically Hoopla and Clevnet eMedia. Um, I hope this video was just a little bit helpful to you. I know that with Clevnet it won't be helpful to a lot of you because you're out of state and you can't have <laughs> access to the Clevnet system. So, um, But for those of you here in Ohio, Northeast Ohio, maybe even Southern Ohio, who knows, you may. There's tons of libraries in the Clevnet system. I know I get books from Southern Ohio, uh, libraries from down south, uh, probably around the Columbus area, too. and That's pretty far down there compared to where I live. So anyways, yeah. Uh, well, I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. I know Thursday's Thanksgiving already. 
and then uh, Black Friday the day after, I hate the fact that stores are open on Thanksgiving. I know Dollar General is open at, I think they open at 7 or 8 in the morning, and they don't close till 10 o'clock at night. I just don't think that's right. I'm sorry. I I think Walmart's open, too. I didn't see a sign saying that they were going to be closed on uh, on Thanksgiving. So, um, yeah. I think, I'm sorry. I just think that's wrong that they're going to be open. I'm sure Giant Eagle's probably going to be open, too. I think they were last year, even though the pharmacy's going to be closed. Um, and then having Thursday sales. That's ridiculous. After... After Thanksgiving meals, some stores are going to open, and there's going to be probably a mad rush for people buying things. You can wait till Black Friday, till the day after Thanksgiving, to do your major sale shopping if you want. It, you know, there's no reason to go rushing and running people over and and doing all that ridiculous stuff. I mean, it seems like every year you hear about somebody getting seriously hurt, or sometimes even killed, because they get run over trying to get in through the door to get to whatever it is they're trying to purchase. And I'm sorry, I just think that that's overly ridiculous. I would never do it. I don't think I've ever gone Black Friday shopping at all in my entire life, at least not that I can ever remember. And um, I just don't want to be in with the crowds and stuff. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a good deal. Some of them are good deals, but there's also a limited number of the product that they have for sale, too. you got to remember that. There's not very many. There's limited, so you have to get in line early enough to be there to get the product that you want. Which kind of means camping out all night and trying to get be in front of the queue. Be in front of the door. Be one of the first ones in the door when they do open. Not for me. Not for me. And I hope it's not for you, too. I mean, come on. It's not worth it. It definitely is not worth it. Okay? All right, well... I'm going to sign off now. Uh, I've rambled enough, and uh, like I said, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Um, I know I will. I'm going to my, I'm going to my aunt and uncle's, and um, I plan on having a great Thanksgiving, so I hope you do too. All right. Have a good one, y'all.